The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! Blowing out of the backfield, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Welcome to the show. Hey. We got the band back together. <laughs> You're looking live at Tostitos Championship Plaza outside the Ford Center at the Star of Frisco, Texas, where we got a little bit of a reprieve today. It was 105 <laughs> yeah. yesterday. Seven. Today, it was it 107? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Today, it's only 100 degrees uh, with a high of 101, a low of 80. I'm not even going to tell you about Oxnard because it doesn't matter because all the action is here at the Star. We got the group together. Mm. Yep. Who's here? Salt and Pepper Poppy. Hey. Shannon Gross. Hey. Nate Newton. Hey. Kurt Daniels. Hey. Jazz in the back. Hey. Together we make Hanging with the Boys. The sports talk equivalent of Braille people feel us when we speak. It's been a minute. This segment is brought to you each and every week by Wingstop. Wingstop. What flavor gets it? Wee! Wee! Brandon Cook a little sick. Yeah, well. Little down. How you doing? You look doing good, great. man. You I'm look refreshed. Good. I like the shirt. Nice yeah. shirt. Wow, I am refreshed, yeah. man. Yeah, wish, he wishes you still out in that California yeah, he weather. Does. I yeah, was he refreshed. Does. I woke up the next morning and found out it was 106 degrees. I, I was like, wow. I, I looked at my wife and said, I should have stayed a couple of more days. <laughs> man, how you doing, Kurt? Good. Yeah. Good. Good to see you guys. Different time today. Good. Same uh same place. Uh, the whole crew is together, mm-hmm. so it's it's good to have everybody back in the same room again. How Absolutely. you doing, Jess? I'm good, man. Yeah, good. I'm good. I'm Life's really, good. I'm, I'm really good. Good. I'm really, really good. All like right. seriously, good. You're smiling. <laughs> I'm good. We have to talk off the air. No, I'm just good, so good, man. I'm just, I'm just good. Trailer parks is, is jumping. Yeah, you know what I mean. Even in the heat. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When when you see when you when you see the smoke coming from the trailer park. Oh yeah. <laughs> it ain't a house fire. <laughs> Got to get new wheels on them things. <laughs> Melt that rubber right off the s- side of the wheels. So. The size on them tires is low. All right, Nate, what was the vibe at camp? You, Jess, you were out there for a little bit too. Tell us, could you, could you, what was the energy around the team? Because some camps are high energy, some are exciting, some are just business as usual. What, what, what vibe were you getting? Oh, out there the first the two fellas? weeks, it was, it was jumping. It, you know, you, you guys repeatedly heard me say. They're fast, they're quick, they're fast, they're quick. And then the Rams showed up and showed me what fast and quick looked like. <laughs> <laughs> and they matched that tempo the second practice. Took they them, matched took that them a minute tempo. to catch up? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, I think they were starting to mentally kind of wear down by the time the Rams got there the first time. And so when the Rams came in, they were hyped. And so then the Cowboys brought theirs. By the end of practice, they brought their tempo up. And then the second time, uh, I just think I, I don't know, but our guys just went clicking. They just went snapping that second time. But overall, I think they got to see the guys they wanted to see, uh, and they brought in some guys who uh, to replace some of the guys uh, to give better competition for guys who are not seeming to catch that tempo and that speed. Mm. What about yes. you when you were out there, Jess? Could you could you? <clears throat> Get anything from the ja- – no, did you oh, have no, any No, he time? went to breakfast. All he did was went to breakfast with uh, all the coaches. I went to, I went to breakfast with the coaches. <laughs> oh, did, you, did you find out any scoop you can tell us on the air? <laughs> did I not say – did I yeah, share? You yeah, shared it. You shared, shared it. Shared it. I yeah. wasn't here. Oh, oh never mind. Like, never yeah. mind. Yeah. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just give him a little light. Well, I, little I got glimpse. a chance to talk yeah. to the defensive coach. Right. I got a chance to talk to Mike Zimmer. He and I over uh, you know, over the, the buffet line. Yes. And – um. Al Harris, the, the the defensive back coach slash uh, uh-huh. head coach. So got a chance to talk to those guys. And, you know, the thing that Mike Zimmer said, he said that I asked him, give me one word for this defense. And uh, he said, unpredictable. Mm, okay. He wants his defense to be unpredictable week in and week out. And, you know, they started signing guys. But the one thing that I, I, I'll take from that is we're seeing for the second, I guess, year in a row that – the Joneses are giving the defensive coordinators a lot of love, signing a lot of their guys that they want to bring in and and showing, like, what do you need, right? Because it seems like as soon as Zim was on the podium talking about defensive tackles 
And what we need in defensive tackle and and because of the style that he runs, boom, here they come. You know, by the ones and by the twos that they're coming in. We know what they needed at linebacker, and you see that more than ever now. Like the like you look at the depth chart, and there's a lot of linebackers, a lot of D tackles. So you know the. the Zim has the ear of the people who make the decisions up top. And I don't know how that'll play out. I mean, of course, the one ear you would hope that he has is Mike McCarthy's ear uh, that Jones has because he said, hey, I would like to have C.D. Lamb, guys. You know, if, if you're going to leave me out here on a one-year deal and you ain't going to restructure my contract till I show you something different, <laughs> hey, I, I would like to have a top three wide receiver on my, uh, 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 on my football team to allow me to – to, to, to work those things through in training camp. You're giving the other guy on a one-year deal everything he can ask for, all right? Don't, don't, don't give me, uh, don't give me uh, 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 the treads wearing thin on a running back and then you don't want to bring in one of the best receivers in all the football for me now. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Don't, don't, don't have me fight this fight with one hand behind my back. Mm-hmm. That's what I would be saying if I was Mike McCarthy. Believe me, he, he, you know he is. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know he is. So what did what did you guys pick up from the – let's talk about the game a little bit. I know we're a day removed from it, but what uh, what were your thoughts overall on the game? What do we what do we think about Trey Lance? Is he getting a little – is he getting a little traction? It looks like he's getting a little better, a little more comfortable. He's like, still got a long way to go. Long way to go. <laughs> but you could see where – Look, he's not the answer, right? He's not he's not your starting quarterback, but you could see where they could design some packages for him and you I think he's good if he uses his legs. So he's mad. Right. I took the word right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Cooper Rush is still y'all's guy, y'all's backup. If I had to go win a football game today and and, and Dak Prescott was not available and those are my options, I want Cooper Rush. Mm. And it's nothing and, I, and 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 people are gonna feel how they feel. But I just don't get the fact that this guy was the number three overall pick. Mm -hmm. And you are in a battle for your football life to be the backup. Yeah. Yeah. And and all right, we gave you the excuse you weren't here for full off season, all that kind of stuff. You had all that. You you go out to the train, uh, you you want your trainer and, and your trainer says, there isn't a guy that I've seen and I've coached and trained a lot of your top NFL guys, right? There isn't a guy that I've seen that works harder than Trey Lance. The accuracy is going to be there. The 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 the, the velocity is going to be there. You're going to see a brand new Cooper Rush. Didn't show it in OTAs and minicamps. Right? We're, we're clear on that? Yeah. Didn't show it there. Then you come to training camp, and we're still talking about some of the same issues. And then we want to. Then we and I and I hate when I go here, but I but but it. it sorry. Preseason game number one, you get a chance to play. Don't play well. Same things are still showing up, right? It's not it's like the same repeated things that we talk about are showing up. Preseason game number two comes along, and yeah, there's some improvement, but let's not act like this is a market improvement. Like like this is a us. If you were as good as they said that you were, we should be having. You know, you know the conversation should be, Kurt. I'm because you my boy. Mm-hmm. I don't know about them. You my boy. You Let's see what, what he says. Let's see what he says. Look, see you my agree. boy. You know what I'm saying, Kurt? <laughs> you my boy. I don't, I don't care what you they hit, say. You hit boy. You now. my guy. You hit boy. But the real conversation should be. You can have him, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's my boy. That's right. my boy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm my boy. Oh, man. <laughs> if you were as good as they thought you were or, mm. or, or, or what the draft status said you'd be, you should be knocking down the door number four. And you ain't even close. And you ain't even close. And if I had to go, if I had to go and say, give me one football game with this offense, I'm going to add CeeDee Lamb to that mix too. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> and this defense, and I got to go get one football game. Give me the guy who I've seen it done in this offense. I'm taking Cooper Rush. Yeah. Period. I, I just, I, I'm, 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 we, 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 and again, this goes back to that star. There's only one other place that's really talking about a quarterback battle like that, and, and that's in Pittsburgh mm-hmm. between Russell Wilson and, and, and Justin Field. And that's just, that, that's like a political party. They both evil, 
Right. They both bad. <laughs> we ought to take the lesser of the two. <laughs> I don't vote Democrat, vote Republican. It's like the election. Yeah, it, <laughs> I don't want to vote, but if they I got to. You know what I'm saying? Like I, the Democrat, Republican. So you can write in Trey Lance and put him up. I wouldn't write him in. <laughs> I write I, 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 I independent. Write in, I write in Kanye. <laughs> Give me John F. Kennedy. Right, right. You're right, but it's you know, it's it's that's what. Nowhere else, like you said, nowhere else would they even talk about. It. It's the Cowboys. It's you, you try to start some drama where there's not any drama, and you know. But remember when he when we when it first happened? I think it happened like on our show, and we were like, oh 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 oh, they bringing somebody in that's going to challenge Dak. It's going to be you ain't even in the same zip code. <laughs> nah. Like you went from being brought in as a puzzle chess piece to challenge Dak and to kind of get him to kind of. You ain't you playing Yahtzee. You ain't mm. on the chessboard no more. You <laughs> wow. playing Connect Four. Wow. It ain't even close. So did you see anything out there in person that made you feel different than Mr. Holly over here? Uh, you, what were we talking about? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not. I'm through with that. <laughs> Jesse, Jess, thank you. That was great. Cause put it to bed. I'm through with it, man. Right. I'm, don't even. All right, let's move on. Yeah. We, we, we are two weeks away from playing real football. That, that's right. what I'm trying to we're say. We're two Jake. weeks away from – this ain't a conversation <laughs> no more. Right. All right, let's talk about something that is interesting. <laughs> Running backs. What we doing? What we doing? Mm. Who's two and three? Who's one? What we going to do? 15. One is 15. Like I told y'all. Yeah. Like I told y'all. 15. Is, is he going to get more than 15, 15 yep. carries a game? Probably. Yep. I told y'all. What's that going to look like? Is that going to be like three point three yards a game? Okay. And you got to ask Guyton and BB and our two guards and our right tackle what that's going to be like. They, I, I hope they can. I hope they can hold. I hope they can hold. Yes. Holes. Yeah. Open. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to break. We got to go in concert with I, that. I, yeah. I hope they, they can, can hold. Hold. <laughs> hold. Make sure you get that L right. in there. Yeah. 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 A little longer oh, yeah. with 15 that you're running back. Yeah. That, that's uh, I'm feeling better and better about the offensive line. I uh, yes. felt yeah. really yes. bad. I feel good. I just I'm still not there with the run game. I'm gonna be fine with the receivers mm. if you get if you get 88 in here. Which, if you, which by the way, we we is there any concern at all that he's not gonna be there week one on the field? I'm gonna tell you like is it starting to creep in with you guys? I read something where they said he don't want as much as the big dog got. The guy that right. got 35 mil. Mm -hmm. And so they offered him 33, and they said, well, what's the holdup? We just gave you right up under it. Since you don't want to – CD want to equal the guy. He, you know, he's, he, he, I don't want least, more. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want less. I don't need to exceed him, but I do need the 35 mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, I know this. It's two guys that cannot miss this year. That's, that's Dak. And that's C.D. Lamb. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know who would have the most impact, but I, I, I promise you oh, this right here. Oh, it's quarterback. Here. We know that. If C.D. would have been in those practices versus the Rams, it, it, it would have looked different. It, it, it just the, – the, the tempo would have went up. The, 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 the level of skill would have went up because you know four or five of those passes, they would have been trying to get them to C.D. And, and, and coaches will tell you, yeah, we're not going to, you know, we're going to go one-on-one, -on -one, but they're going to, hey, safe to keep an eye, you know, so they get that guy going up the seam a little bit, you know. And and that's the thing. It's yeah. not only do I, not only am I missing a flat-out dynamic football player who with the ball in his hands can do f exceedingly abundantly more yes. than any other guy on the roster, more than any most guys in the National Football League. But it's the other part of the game that safety can't come out of that box now. Talk mm. about the run game. Right. You know what helps the run game? 88 being outside. That's right. Mm. 88 being outside. Because now that safety can't come down there and just chill down there anymore. Right? Because if, if that's the case, that free safety going to have to go over there and help him. So the other guy going to have to be back there being the, being the, the last slot right. of defense. Now I can run the ball more. If I want other guys to be more effective, when I want to change – uh, uh, strengths. When I send CD Lamb in motion, oh, that linebacker gonna change some things. 
I, I'm able to get better looks. I'm able to do things differently. Brandon Cooks is able to be a better number two with CeeDee Lamb out there. Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Cropper, Jalen Name a Jalen, right, that plays receiver. Those guys are better because 88 demands and commands so much attention. Not only does he get quarterback number one, he gets to safety, he gets to shift. Everything goes his way, allow God. Jake Ferguson now, I can work the middle of the field a little bit better because that safety is getting off that hash right now to get over the top of to help that cornerback because 88's out there. So it ain't just what he's able to do in a in a in a in a in a, in a soul position, it's what his ability allows everyone else. Is that hurting them because he's not there to work on that? What everybody else is. Yes, yes. You know, I always believe that a guy missing camp hurts the continuity of the team. I, I always believe that, and that does. He needs the great work that most guys need. Now, he may not need that great work, but he does need some work. So, yeah. Because in today's NFL, when your first four games is the preseason or the regular season, you need to be the quickest teams to click early in the season where you make it squeak out that win. So what, yeah. what a – you know, you talk about. Wait a minute, two- Kurt. Wait just a second, because Nate Nate doesn't participate in these kind of questions. Jesse looked at me and gave me an interesting look, but oh. no one answered the question. How do you feel? Let's go to a break first, and then we get how feel Kurt feels on the half on the other side. Are you going to give me your opinion? Sure. Do we think how there's we f- a possibility he might uh-huh. not be there for game one? Well, I'll give our opinions. All right. When we come back, that's a good segue. Good job, Jess. Thanks for helping me out. <laughs> Hanging with that's, the boys. Yeah, we back. We back, <laughs> and we'll be back right after this break on Hanging with the Boys. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection. And sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. And, of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. Are you the 2024 Dallas Cowboys Fan of the Year? The Dallas Cowboys and Captain Morgan are celebrating extraordinary, inspiring, and original fans. Nominate yourself or the biggest Cowboys fan you know for a chance to be named the 2024 Fan of the Year and win prizes, including a trip to Super Bowl 59. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash Fan of the Year. Go Cowboys! I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap it to Prescott, who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Fall is here, and that means football is back, bringing all the delicious game day foods with it. As you prep for all the big games, tailgates, and watch parties, let Yokiero be your one-stop destination for all things home gating. Yokiero's fresh, flavorful, ready-to-serve guacamole made with real Hass avocados will score taste bud touchdowns as you cheer on the Cowboys. Yokiero's wide range of mouth-watering and versatile products can be found in your local grocery store's produce or deli section. Grab some today. Back to hanging with the boys. Welcome back to the second segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Blockchain.com. Thank you, Blockchain.com. And we have a new live read. I'm going to see if I can keep from screwing this up. Seven mm. Eleven. Oh, Do wow. you guys want Slurpee drinks from 7-Eleven free for a year? Do the well, Slurpee sound. Hell yeah, we mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. Do the Slurpee sound. What is that? <laughs> oh, it's insane, yo. From now until August 27th, use the 7 Rewards app at checkout to be entered for a chance to win when purchasing products like Slurpee, Big Gulp. Make the Big Gulp sound, Jesse. And Tequitos. <laughs> no purchase necessary. Terms this apply. Guy, I think he's dealing with over here. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. 
From now until August 27th, use the 7 Rewards app at checkout to be entered for a chance to win when purchasing products like Slurpee, Big Gulp, and Taquitos. No purchase necessary. We need to get this rewritten. This doesn't mm. make sense. When purchasing products, but no purchase necessary. Mm. Here's your live read. Maybe you can, here's, your live, here's your live read, Jazz. <laughs> Probably Fix not it. the way 7 yeah. went. Fix this, S, Jazz. <laughs> Fix this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. CD Lamb, Kurt, are you worried that he might not be on the field? Is it starting to creep in? Yeah, I think it's creeping in, but I think he'll be there. Okay. Now, I do worry, is he going to be ready? Week that one? wasn't the question. I know. But, yes, I think he'll be signed before that. Nate, you don't play these games. Yes, yet. signed, sealed. And he'll be there? Delivered. Okay. What do you think, Jess? I think he'll be there. I don't right. think he'll be happy when he gets there, though. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but but how, I'm with you on that, Jess. Say he signed. They, happy. they come last preseason game this week. They come back here Monday. What they sign him? He's got two weeks till. No wait, Jesse just said he'll be there. He didn't say he was going to be signed. He said he'll be there, okay. but he won't be happy. All right. yeah, I mean, right now he's still, he's still currently under a contract. Right. That's true. That's true. That pays him seventeen yeah. million. I like how Jesse skirted around uh, that. He didn't say he'd be. He, re- he didn't say a new deal. A, no he just deal? said he'd be there. Yeah, because here's the thing. He can't sit out this year. It won't count. It won't count. Yeah. So then, he, then he's it got won't. another year. Yeah, he's going to be same. back in the same spot next year. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it won't count. So you better off just taking that million dollars a game and, and, and hoping Ooh. for the best. And then, well, he can't even walk because he'll be franchised. They'll just franchise yeah. him next year. Yeah. That's why I said he won't be happy. If he has to come to this place with no deal and he knows what's in front of him, if a deal can't get done, they just going to slap that franchise tag on him? You think he looked unhappy in the playoff game on the sideline? <laughs> Woo! That'd be ugly. And then he's sending us subliminals through his, through his Instagram. He pulled the, 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 the was it Venom? The Venom yeah, character? Yeah, yeah. something the Black I don't, I don't, guy. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know all the – I don't know what that means. Is Marvel – is that Marvel? Yeah, yeah Marvel. That Marvel DC? I don't – He's like the evil Spider-Man. Okay, yeah. see? He turned heel. He's turned heel. Just let's get this thing done. Let's just get these guys signed, make everybody happy. And That'd be nice. That way there's no drama going into the what season. What is it? You die the hero or you live long enough to see yourself to see yourself become the villain? Yeah. You mm-hmm. think he's feeling like the villain now? Maybe. So. I don't know. I think I think Cowboys fans are siding with him on this one. I don't know. I've seen some things uh, where I don't know. I don't really? know. No, I've seen some Cowboy fans really? like it, it was funny. I saw and then I shouldn't laugh at I this. I think most are. But I laughed. One guy's like, FCD, he turned down $33 million. I make twelve fifty an hour. I was like, whoa, yeah. my guy. <laughs> That's a you problem. Yeah. I, I'm just saying, like that is, you need to get a better skill set. I'm not saying that you gotta go out there. And, I'm just saying don't get mad at that man because his value is different than your value. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like my because my price is different than your price. Yeah, that ain't my problem. That ain't my problem. <laughs> that ain't my don't don't get don't get mad at CD FCD because he no that man worth thirty three mil thirty five mil. You took the twelve fifty. That that's something. We there's America, Jack. Like yeah. there's enough opportunities. You can get on computer programs, CDLs, and you can do overtime. Twelve fifty is what you are accepting. Kurt, I cut yeah. you off all ago. Well, I just. No. Going back to what he said, I think that well, what you said, the fans. Oh, boy. It's my dude. <laughs> I think most fans are in CD's corner, but yeah, there's a lot that are upset with him. That you know, honor the contract, that kind of thing. So I don't know where. I ain't never gonna be mad at a player yeah. for trying to get money. Yeah. But, but what I what yeah. I originally asked was, you know, you talked. There'd be two weeks left. Say he signs next week. Can he be ready 100 percent game one? And if not, how long is this team gonna have to? Work him up Ramp and work up. him in. Yeah, yeah because weeks. the okay, so training camp ends at the preseason game, right? Then there's that dead week. Yes. They ain't practicing. Like they maybe like one or two days. Yeah. Right? Right. Like they're doing the final cuts and all that kind of stuff. And then they get back to it like on that Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So then they'll do Wednesday, like Thursday, and then they kind of give him another little break and then it's back to going again. Mm-hmm. So it's not like he's getting a full practice then. And even that practice, those practices won't be fully padded, high tempo, ready to go. It'll be more of acclimation, right? All right, this is our group. 
And it may, you may see a change here and there off the, off, the, off the waiver wires and bring guys in, but that's more of acclimation. That's more of a, this is our group. Here's how it's going to look. Let's take our team picture, right? Like that, That's that part of it. Let's take our team picture. Let's, let's, let's get everything in order. And here's where the meetings will be. Here's how the schedule will be. Here's how it'll look. And then you get into game week. And now in game week, they're not you as great as of a player that CeeDee Lamb is, you're not adjusting the game week schedule to fit CeeDee Lamb. You just aren't. He's not greater than the other 52. While he is a huge asset, the game, this game week will go how the game week will go. My only concern about it is while yes, he's training. And any football player will tell you the only way to get in football shape mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, academically, however Lee you want to put on the end of it. Play football. It's to play football. So now when you come in, you're coming in getting ready for a game and doing things at a hyper speed with people now leaning on you, guys grabbing on you. So you're not doing that in training. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you're not. That's not happening in training. No matter how many routes that you run, you're not running routes with the other guy in front of you pulling on you, grabbing on you. When you jump up in the air, there's a guy underneath you. There's all these little factors that have to come into play, and your body has to grow that callus. Yeah, to I would, what it's I would doing. imagine you got to build up like getting bruised, right? Yeah, your and body's then, gotta. And then the soft tissue things come yeah. about: the groins, the quads, the the the, the, the hammies. I'm not saying that that's gonna happen, but those. Oh, what concerns me about when he comes back and then going 100 miles an hour after missing all of training camp? And all, did he go to OTAs and mini camps? None of that, right? None no, of that. None so of he, he hasn't done anything team activity related since Green Bay. By the way, come out here to the Star in Frisco on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Cowboys night is Tuesday the 27th, and the season kickoff ceremony is the 28th. Yeah. And that's that's it, right? That's the last two yeah. practices until football. So it's good. Golly, it's getting here quick, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. CD, get here before then, please. Please. So please. you kind of agree. Des Bryant kind of said the same thing as you that he it's business, but it's bad business to sit to to not be in camp. Yeah, I just you know, <clears throat> I just like when a guy in camp, uh, you know, doing what he has to do. Uh, uh, it's not like when Jesse played or even when I played. It's it's it's, it, it's physical. It's a change of pace. Like Jess said, people leaning on you, people tugging on you, but not at the rate it used to be. So, you know, when you see a guy in the world, in the whirlpool, you know, he's sitting there just mostly chilling, relaxing, you know, getting a quick recovery. It ain't like we was we were trying to get bruises, bumps, <laughs> everything off of us. You know, and we was doing this after the first practice, not after three practices. You know what I'm saying? We was doing this after the first practice. So I'm not saying these guys don't work hard because they do. They do work hard. They put their time in. A lot of guys put in extra. So, uh, but I, I just like when when you are a elite player that changes things. Zeke did it six, seven years ago. We didn't have to worry about the safety because we knew he was going to be up looking at Zeke. And that gave our receivers a chance to be who they need to be. Now it's it's CD. That safety going to just the CD, and it's going to give the rest of the running game a chance to be who they can be if we can get Guyton and BB ready. All right, let's take our last break when we come up. I don't even know what Mm. word that was. Mm. (laughs) Beat him up. Beat him up, words. Can we come back? We'll talk more football. <laughs> no purchase necessary. No purchase. No purchase necessary. Don't hang with the boys. Are you the 2024 Dallas Cowboys Fan of the Year? The Dallas Cowboys and Captain Morgan are celebrating extraordinary, inspiring, and original fans. Nominate yourself or the biggest Cowboys fan you know for a chance to be named the 2024 Fan of the Year and win prizes, including a trip to Super Bowl 59. Visit DallasCowboys.com slash Fan of the Year. Go Cowboys! How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Made to order, cooked to perfection, and sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. And of course, spicy Cajun fried corn. I think you've heard enough. 
Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. Fall is here, and that means football is back, bringing all the delicious game day foods with it. As you prep for all the big games, tailgates, and watch parties, let Yokiero be your one-stop destination for all things home gating. Yokiero's fresh, flavorful, ready-to-serve guacamole made with real Hass avocados will score taste bud touchdowns as you cheer on the Cowboys. Yokiero's wide range of mouth-watering and versatile products can be found in your local grocery store's produce or deli section. Grab some today. I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. And they snap at the Prescott who looks right. It's not there. He escapes left. He'll run for a first down. Just like football, when it comes to crypto, it's important to have a team you can trust. With blockchain.com, I know I'm in good hands. Since 2011, they've been trusted by millions around the world to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrency. Prescott's going to run this himself. Run it up the middle, and he scores. Whether you're new to crypto or an active trader, they've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Get started at blockchain.com. Back to hanging with the boys. Welcome back to the final segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Jigsaw, the official dating partner of the Dallas Cowboys. So I have, before we move on, I have two questions about the game. I started making notes about the game, and then I just lost interest, and I didn't get very far. But with about, you made any notes. I know. <laughs> me too. I was trying to multitask. I was watching the UFC. Yeah, Kurt! And the Get and, him, and the game at the same they were at we the same care time. About none of that. My boy is on you. Let's go. No, 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 fine. Whatever. <laughs> so we'll one thing I baby. noticed, I don't know if y'all noticed it. Tw- about twelve minutes left in the first quarter. Um, if we had a bare knuckle brawl, yeah, that side Ooh. versus this side. Mm. Mm. No, I don't, I, I'm just telling you straight up. I don't believe in bare knuckle brawls. I don't believe in none of that because it's you got 25 seconds. Uh-uh. Like, you got a good. Now you, I'm telling uh, you, 20. Yeah, you got about 20. 19 and a half seconds. That if I can withstand 19 and a half seconds, I got a chance. Just don't let him get his hands on you. <laughs> you felt him. That's that's what I'm saying. Let me tell you. So they, they won't be even shot. I'm going to one-punch him. It's over. And then I cut him low and you yeah. cut him high. Yeah. That's two Kurt, seconds. Kurt, you got to bomb and weave, right? Oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to outrun you, you him. Gotta, you got to just run Where around. You turn and run. You got to give us a chance. <laughs> Jess is like, give me 19 and a half seconds. I'm telling you, yeah. he's going to tire after 19 and a half. But if he gets you that early one, he got we the, Hey, he got them new oh, knees he now. Them, he got, yeah, yeah. He oh, might get them He might have 23 seconds in him. I can hear Kurt wife. Why? <laughs> Jesse, his boy. Yeah, his boy. Uh, prove a point. Had to uh, prove a point. Yeah. I'm sorry. I just thought about that. Oh, no, that's actually a great question. We should And jazz yeah, on my side. We should rank all the shows in the Battle Royale or Rumble. You lock the door, one, two shows in or one show leaves. <laughs> Not the ladies show. We don't, 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 we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't. every show. Yeah. We'll, we'll get them all. You think? Oh, yeah. even, I, oh, I don't know about it. No, Isaiah. We'd be who is Isaiah? Oh no, no, no! It's just it's Isaiah, Josh. Oh yeah, Kyle. Yeah, yeah. That, that's he's no, picking no, no, no. Uh But how about oh, yeah. Barry? Yeah. Barry and McCray. No, no, no more McCray. No. Oh no, there's more. no more Danny. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny's got Danny's not on the show anymore. No, no. I didn't know that. Huh. Did we that'd, be, that'd be interesting. Hmm? That'd be that'd be interesting. Okay, question for you. Twelve minutes in, uh, Max Crosby walked up and and headbutted Tyler Guyton, not like in a mean way, like a respect. Did y'all see that respect? And I was like, all right, wait a minute. It's only three minutes into the first quarter of a respect. preseason game. Is is he telling him that respect. he's that good already? Respect. Mm. That's what that's what I got out of it. I'm like, wait a minute. This is his second game, and we were a little worried about him, and he's got. Arguably the best defensive end in the league, telling him way to go, rookie. Respect. I'm still worried. Are you? Now Miles Garrett might hit him in the head. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. You know what I mean? True. I, I just need to see uh, better t- his technique. He got to start putting together better days with better techniques, and time is running out. Uh, a couple of times he let the guy 
get into his body. I mean, and and uh, you know what's I'm, I'm, I don't mean, I don't mean to cut you off, but right. I'm going to cut you off right. in a good way because you know what's going to be hilarious. Here's what's going to be hilarious. That moment you just said is going to wind up on Twitter somewhere, and there's going to be some. Oh, you Excuse okay? Me. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Excuse me. What was the lunch? <laughs> there is going to be someone who has never put a toenail in the dirt and going to say, oh, I don't know what Nate talking about. Da, 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 da. Like that's the part that's going to be so insane that mm-hmm. they're going to take a three-time Super Bowl champion, six-time Pro Bowl, black history, black college football, Hall of Famer, and someone's going to say... That's at training camp watching this in person in every person, day. In person, and because they're so high on how things are going, and Nate says he still needs to see better technique, they're going to go, oh, Nate, man, he don't know what he's talking about. He, he, he hating. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That is the world that we have now begun to live Everybody's in. Everybody's an expert. Whole, like, it just hit me. Like, Who someone's going to say, no, 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 holy, I will say holy <laughs> oh, moly. Okay. All right. Holy <laughs> moly. That's what's going to be, that's what's going to happen. But continue, I'm sorry. And, uh, mm. and, and when I look at these guys, man, I, I see the quick feet. I see the quick, uh, you know, he can he can recover. He, he does that well. But it, this, you cannot, like he, I saw him get into some guys, throw him on the ground. That's gonna be returned <laughs> if you don't have the right technique. You know, over sixty, seventy plays, you know you're gonna have some bad ones. Yeah, you just don't need disasters. Out of those sixty and seventy plays, that's what uh, hurt Walasco. Is I'm pronouncing his mm-hmm. name mm-hmm. right? The Let's number go. seventy nine. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what hurt him. Had thirty five great plays, but he had four bad ones, and all of them were sacks on the quarterback. Mm. That, that that's what I'm saying. in this league. That's what determines whether we good as offensive linemen. So he needs to get better hand placement on the run, and definitely on it. Especially when he's trying to short set somebody. He instead of him still punching, he want to grab. That grab they're gonna let them into your chest, and they're gonna wind up on that quarterback. Mm. And uh, I saw that with him, and I keep seeing it with. Uh, with Austin Richards, Austin Richards got to get physical. He got to get 76, got to get much, much, much more physical. You're going to be the swing tackle. So you got to get a little bit more physical. Uh, what a little bit I saw against BB, he was he was nice. Uh, but uh, a quick move got him one time. A, a real, you know, quick move kind of got him, in, and he kind of ducked into him. So all of our guys are not trusting their strength. I don't know how strong Guyton is, but BB's supposed to be that physical, strong guy. So sit back and sometimes sit back, especially when you got a quick guy. So he need to be – that film study is going to be so key for these young guys because if you got to respect the speed of the NFL. It'll hurt you. See, it, you, know. you like him better than uh, Hoffman now? Uh, the, the thing about it, they threw a curveball on me because they had me believing that this kid just wasn't going to be ready. Yeah. But all of a sudden – they saw something in that Rams game that they liked, and they they like okay let's let's go with this kid, and uh, all his snaps was pretty good. Uh, he was pretty physical. Like I said, I think he got to learn to deal with the NFL quickness. Once he get past that, I think he should be all right. It's just a, you know how y'all know me. I'm like first preseason game Cleveland. You might not like what you see <laughs> because Cleveland gonna be moving fast and they're gonna be strong. And they're going to be unified because they got their players that played together. This is not a new group. Our group has not played together. Uh, I would suggest they don't have to listen to Nate. It's okay. Boombox is coming, though. It's called Cleveland. <laughs> you better let these guys play a little bit in this third game. What you think? The I agree. Line, they better let them I play. Agree. Oh, you're going to let Guyton and BB play? Yes, sir. I think so. Yeah. I think you got to give those guys and, and, at least a half. And Richards and TJ Bass. They got to play. They have to play. As a group? Yeah, as a group. Just let them, let them play, man. Let them play. Mm. Give own, them three, four series. Give them, give them 30, 40 snaps. How's that going to – how – I guess obviously any rep helps, but they're not doing that with Zach Martin next to them or Steele or Tyler Smith. I mean, yeah, is that a whole new ballgame? Got to have the reps. Yeah, got to get gotta, the reps. Yes. Because, like Nate said, yeah. I think that's a fantastic point. 70 snaps you'll play. 
right? And you might be good for 66. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if the four that you weren't good were disastrous, <laughs> that's how we're going to grade you. You're in the red zone yeah. with a holding. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, And so that only comes with repetition. Those little technique things that he's talking about, the inside hands, the you know, the feet work, all that kind of stuff, because that's how we're going to grade you. If, if you're good for 66 snaps, but 67, you whiff, and that end comes off the, off, off the backside in a tight game, strip sack, fumble the other way, guess what we're going to say? You, Rook. So it's all about, like, I, I, you got to get the – forget about, worried about if somebody gets hurt or not. You, they, I think these young guys need every single rep available to them because we're getting to a place now, once you get into the season, ain't going to be no pads. Ain't going to be no inner squad scrimmages. You get an hour and 45 minutes a day. You're limited on the reps you can get. So all the reps that you're going to be getting are in the game. Mm. I don't want to learn it. I, yeah, there's learning in the game, but I'd rather get some of my learning done in matters where it doesn't count as much. Preseason and stuff like that. Mm. My, other, my other observation or question to bring back to the show. I have two questions from the game. That was one. Do uh, you guys watch – like who or care about who wears your number? Yes. Every season? I do. I figured you did. I figured you might just look and then doesn't matter. But like, because I kept seeing flashes of, you know, one and then another yeah. number. I'd be like, and it, I, you would pop into my head. And I was like, I wonder if those guys like and at the beginning of 16. every year. Like, I'm like, come on, 16. And, I'm, and Jalen Cropper was doing great. Then he fumbled. Then he fumbled. And, then, <laughs> like, and, and, you know, and, and that quarterback y'all talk about showed didn't have his, his calls. I mean, he he tried to kick. I'm like, oh man, and I was I was going for sixteen, you know. But I'm like, he done fumbled. Now he can't get a pass to yeah. come accurately to him. <laughs> so so hopefully he ain't fumble himself out of a situation. For, for real, but, for real. But yeah, I, I always root for sixteen. What about you? At the beginning of training camp, do you look and see? Who's I got gave your up about six years ago when I figured out that college and and high school don't care about offensive linemen no more. I started like, you know what? I ain't finna let them kill me over this. Because <laughs> it, it is – that is – when I play – offensive lines galore. We had offensive linemen just everywhere. Now in the last 10 years, like high school and college, then took, you know, the quickness with the quarterbacks being so quick, we're getting rid of the ball. A lot of these guys just don't have it. So I'm like, you know what? If we get a good 61, I'll brag on it. If we're not, i just, wow. Yeah, I don't think you'll be doing too much bragging this time around. <laughs> yeah. And one last question before we get out of here. Jesse, you brought this up. I don't know if it was last year or year before last, that any snap that Michael Parsons is not rushing the passer last is a year. wasted snap. Mm-hmm. There are reports that he's been working off the ball linebacker more than ever. That's fine. That as long as he's coming idea? downhill. Just, I, I don't need him. I don't want him in coverage. I don't want him in coverage. Mm-hmm. Come downhill. If he's coming down to tackle a running back, go get the quarterback. If he's if he's going the opposite way, no, thank you. You want him, you want him heading towards the line of scrimmage. Yes. Huh? An, an aggressive heading towards the line of scrimmage. I just believe he got another level, man, that he can he can take over games. And uh he needs I hope he reach it this year. Yeah, and he needs it late in the season. Hopefully yeah, we need it late in the season, bit. and we need big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. Mm-hmm. And that's what I need for Brother Parsons to do. You know, when don't when things ain't going your way in early in the Philadelphia game, don't go over there and sit down with your helmet between your legs. Don't do that. that <laughs> everybody sees that. Go over there, man, and get with the coach or get with the player and say, hey, man, what, hey, can we run a game or something? Can we? What can I do to free him up or myself? Oh, see, he got that type of talent. Nobody doubts that. It's, it's the attitude you carry into that, man. You know, it's just the attitude. All right. What's in, Anything else before we get out of here? You never I'll, said if you feel it, Lamb's going to be signed by the – Me? You. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Everybody will be back, what, Thursday night? The team comes back. Everybody's back in the building. Yeah. Thursday night. I feel. I feel <laughs> like uh, I don't know. I, I feel better. I think they're super close. I think they'll get something done. Is there any chance of them getting 
once the season starts working something out or once the season starts it's like all right just ride this out till the end of the year we're, we're not messing with ain't none of that on CD it? favor ain't none of that yeah, I, I don't think know. it's a CD just favor just make that man happy yeah. alright fellas good seeing you we'll be back what Thursday same Thursday. time 4 yes. o'clock on yep. Thursday and then I we guess we may miss Kurt I guess yeah. we'll uh, are you out boy. for yeah. sure you? Uh, probably yes yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no, no mind his business let him just do what he gotta yeah, do he yeah, alright and then good. we'll talk I'll, about I'll him we'll talk about him when he's not on the air of course um, yeah, so good seeing you fellas. Jazz, thanks for uh, keeping us on the air. We'll be back Thursday, same time, same place. Yeah, please wear a different shirt next time. We out! I didn't feel that one. Um, we out! Bye. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?